Radio as a creative industry has historically been based in the South, with most of the content produced by organisations like the BBC featuring Southern London-based voices exclusively. This oftentimes excludes other parts of the nation, such as the North East. If you get a shot at your dream job, you know, or a good opportunity, if you get that shot come through, you need to be ready to basically drop everything and go to London, which is not a great way to be, but it's the way that it is right now. And I hope in the future that can change. However, the future for radio outside of London looks promising, with expansions being made across the UK by producers, as well as an increase in universities offering radio courses up north. Scotland had like uh, limited kind of courses to what I wanted to do, and Sunderland, like everything about here, Spark, the, the facilities, like it was kind of just like everything, um, and it just appealed to me like so much. So when I kind of got Sunderland in my headlights, they didn't really move. Recently, they are looking at expanding out. You know, you've got the big media city in Salford. There's a lot of there's a lot of investment going into Glasgow as well, especially on the BBC side. There's the big the big massive film studio that's opening and down in Sunderland. I think the UK industry now has realised that having everything so concentrated in London, while it's great for you know the brand because it's in the big city. It's good for the brand, but it's really bad for the content because you're going to get a lot of the same voices. It remains to be seen if the radio industry as a whole will remain primarily based down south. However, recent developments certainly look promising for the future.